the Cabal. War, wanted or not, is all they understand. And so we taught them. Sand eaters scattered. Dust giants felled. Ice reapers buried. Siege dancers broken. Until we grew complacent and Gaul drove a blade between our ribs, left us gasping. Before the vanguard showed them that the light cannot be tamed so easily. I should have stepped forward, stamped the Red Legion into extinction. Instead, I ran the banner and watched the city's victories dull our edge once more. It should have ended before they fattened us, before they exploited us, before they forced us to lift up a murderer as our savior. Another cabal warmonger now leads a fleet off Nessus. No more waiting. We will be there to put her in the ground. Even my people have a word for peace, but we do not use it often or lightly. I wouldn't have summoned you if I was not sincere. Peace with the Cabal. The darkness crowds the edges of this system. The Hive serves it. You'll fall to one if not the other. My world did. Empress Keitel. I'm sorry for what you've lost. We have all suffered. I propose an alliance. Cabal don't ally. They conquer. She betrayed her father to Gaul. Don't think she won't put a gilded knife in your back too. My father was soft. He lacked ambition. As you do. Humanity won't survive unless the Commander expands his horizons. Join my empire. You'll keep your title and gain a seat on my war council. With my army and your light, the Cabal will crush the Hive. Then, the Black Fleet. Bow. No. Very well. Ready yourself, Commander. I'll sharpen my gilded knife and see you both on the battlefield. Listen closely, Gun. Callus' daughter, Empress Keitel, has arrived in our system hoping to reunify the Cabal Empire. We've spotted an Imperial land tank tearing through Nessus. Ikora thinks it has something to do with Keitel's efforts. I want boots on the ground for a closer look. Guardian, the Cabal tank is ahead. Break their front line and get us eyes on it. New objective. Based on the field intelligence you recovered, we believe a former Red Legion commander is on site, directing from the ground. This commander was a mere legionary under Gaul's rule. He personally pulled the trigger on a horrifying amount of lightless guardians during the Red War. He has since risen to become a warlord among the remnants of the Red Legion, and now that Butcher carries Keitel's banner. Indeed. Divide leadership on the ground long enough for our scouts to determine what Keitel is planning. And perhaps, in justice for the guardians he sent to their final deaths. That's what we came for! Get out of there now! Welcome aboard the Helm, Guardian, the hub for emergency logistics and maneuvers. Here you'll find the assets and information you need to complete our most time-sensitive operations. We'll continue upgrading this space as situations in the system evolve, so check in often to get the latest developments. Well done disrupting the Cabal on Nessus. I wish that was the end of it. But unfortunately, it's just the beginning. 
Empress Keitel has emerged as the new face of their empire and demanded I pledge loyalty to her. Our conversation went as well as you might expect. Thanks to the information you recovered, we know this. Former members of the Red Legion and other leaderless cabal are all competing for a seat on Keitel's War Council. In an effort to prevent cabal reunification, I'm assembling a team to take out her aspiring commanders. Lord Saladin will act as field commander, and Osiris will report directly to me as my advisor. He's appointed a new hunter, Crow, to be your reconnaissance expert. As always, Amanda Holiday will provide air support. Your task is simple. Defeat Keitel's commanders across the Soul System. Once you eliminate their leadership, Cabal infighting will prevent Keitel from amassing real power. If we miss this opportunity, another all-out war will become inevitable. Good luck. The new style suits you. Spoils of victory in the reef. Glint chose the materials. You haven't let me pay for any of this. If you want to repay me, keep that mask affixed to your face. It will protect you from the city's ignorance. I know what it's for. If this is what it takes to make a difference, I'm in. I've had to walk these streets under the skies more times than you know. Now I am welcome. Soon you shall be too. Patience and caution. Ah, Guardian. Saladin spoke highly of your assault. They think their tank is a show of strength, but it is no Iron Lord. Saladin will hold the line so our attention can be directed elsewhere. Names are needed. Examples. My friends in the Reef have been talking. At this point, Red Legion commanders are either brutes or braggarts. Not the type for subtlety. They want Keitel's attention. We will use that information to direct our fury. Create a power vacuum and show the Cabal the path they've chosen. Dismissed. Together in the field. Huh. I'm starting to get the impression you all like having me around. Warriors of the Empire. I see your fury. For years, you have waited for your leaders to reclaim you. But time has not changed your nature. Your rage becomes the swing of the cleaver, the thrust of the shield, the shout of the cannon. I send out a challenge to the remains of the Broken Legion. Prove your worth in battle. The ancient rites live again. The Triumphant will become the first members of my War Council. We are Cabal. We eat the mountains. We drink the seas. The dragon of your light roars over Nessus. Our enemies fear you, Guardian. Osiris mentioned you crashed a Cabal ritual they call the Rite of Proving. He seems to think it's not unlike our Crucible, made for settling scores. I don't see the resemblance. Scraps of the Red Legion are competing to earn Keitel's favor. Just like her, their hands are tied by tradition. They're forced to meet every challenger or forfeit their position. We can exploit that. I want you to run down every Cabal commander you can find. If they're foolhardy enough to accept a fistfight with you, Keitel's War Council won't fill a single seat. To that end, Crow has spotted another of the Empress's hopefuls on Europa. They call him Basilius the Golem. He's looking for Golden Age relics to excavate from the ice. Basilius intends to augment his body and offer combat enhancements to other Cabal. If he succeeds, it won't be long before Keitel has an entire platoon of Exo-Legionaries at her disposal. Get in the way. The 
Vol forces are entrenched out here. You're in for a hell of a firefight before we can breach their defenses. Those command carriers are likely to send reinforcements, but I'll try to draw their air support away. Clear the field. That should buy me enough time to take down the barrier that's blocking the way forward. Barrier's down. Get a move on. Be careful. The Cabal got sloppy. Vex have moved in behind them. Watch your back or you'll get caught in the crossfire. The Imperial Commander should be up ahead. Give him what for? Kindly remind him they don't belong on Europa. Mm, I'd skip the kindly part. The Cabal searching for the secrets of the Deep Stone Crypt. I don't understand wanting to become a machine. To lose everything you are. What sort of person is willing to do that to themselves? From what I gather, folks becoming exos weren't always willing. And here I thought the people of the Golden Age were supposed to be enlightened. But the Cabal feel the same way about themselves. The way you talk about the Cabal, others talk the same way about the Elixni, especially in the Tower. Shax openly jokes about killing them. Some Guardians wear their bones on their armor like they're animals. It's different when you walked among them, shared a meal with them. Well, I ain't gonna be sharing a meal with no Cabal anytime soon. Get ready to move. The Cabal have invaded the Cosmodrome. As we speak, Val Marag leads a charge into a hive nest, seeking revenge for what Zebo Arath did to the Cabal's home system. If he succeeds, Keitel is certain to promote him to her war council, and more Cabal will flood into the Cosmodrome. We can't let that stand. Not in the territory that produces some of our best guardians. Fortunately, our enemies are distracted. Cut through the chaos and take out Mirag. If we don't crush this now, we could lose an entire generation of new lights. Guardian, the Cabal have established a base not far from you. It's possible they're already engaged with the Hive, so expect a little chaos. This is our chance to kill two birds with one stone. If those are birds, you're gonna need a boulder at least. The Cabal brought some serious weaponry with them. They must really hate the Hive. And again, how else should you feel after your home has been destroyed? Now is not the time to psychoanalyze the enemy. Right. Meditate on their motives when they're dead. Now's your moment, young wolf. Invite the enemy to meet their end. You make it look easy, Guardian. Yes, if only all light bearers had their focus. Was that remark pointed in my direction? We had no time for idle chatter when we were defending the walls at six fronts, I'll tell you that. And I doubt Zavala tolerated it during the Red War. You'll forgive me. I'm new, so I'm not caught up on our history. What were you doing in the Red War? Huh. Must be a bad signal. This is Amanda Holiday, reporting on my Cosmodrome flyovers. The Cabal set up shop on a bluff overlooking the Moth Yards. Hive's been chewing on them pretty good, but they're dug in like ticks. You know how they are. Frigates parked overhead haven't put a single round my way. Seems they're focused 110 on the Hive. One thing I haven't seen are any civilians. I don't know how big the Cabal fleet is these days, but it's gotta be spread thin. There must be a group of carriers in deep space somewhere with all their kids and old folks aboard. The whole rest of their species. Shows how much they want payback. They're risking it all on our turf, just for a piece of the hive. I know this Cabal force looks like aggression, but I'd wager it's grief through and through. They ain't here for us. They're here for revenge. Goodness knows. I can relate. Did I keep you waiting? I've been busy managing the antics of your commander. Antics? <laughs> Time-honored traditions. They don't concern you. You're auditioning members for your war council. I'd say that concerns us very much. Your commander could be a valued member of it. 
if he would accept my offer. You seem like a wise man. We both know that the best victory is won before the war even begins. I'm giving humanity a way out. Savala can end this now. You can end this now. A Cabal Empress with a penchant for mercy. It's a novel idea. You've learned from the mistakes of your predecessors, but I see how you lean on tradition when you fear a loss of control. I see your uncertainty. Dithering. As for what I know, I know that an empress without an empire is in no position to offer anything. The Cabal have lost their home, not their honor. If we are to die, we will take many with us. Tell your commander my patience is running out. Your orders remain the same. Honor or no, without a war council, she'll have no war. Commander Zavala, I thought to contact you directly, free from the prying interests of advisors. When I was a child, listening to stories of the Cabal's many rulers, I imagined that sovereignty was absolute power. The power to triumph, to spill blood, to rule. But now I realize the ironic truth Sovereignty is a form of servitude. As Empress, my people's will comes before my own. That is why Cabal forces cannot leave the Soul System empty-handed. After losing Torobotl, we cannot lose our honor. It's the only thing we have left. You offer an alliance as equals, but I offer something even more valuable. Exaltation. Within our ranks, the Guardians will be revered. They will be free, as the Scions are now. They will be our most elite force. The pride of the Cabal Empire. So, for the last time, join us. For revenge against the Hive. For survival against the Darkness. Join me. Join the Cabal. You're needed back on Nessus, Guardian. As if their tank wasn't enough, now we have Scions tunneling into Vex territory. According to Krull, their leader is Ixel the Far-Reaching. She's looking for something that will secure her a seat on the War Council. Something that will impress, like Vex prediction engines. Whatever Ixel digs up could give Keitel the winning edge. Or worse, simply unleash destruction on us all. Either outcome is to be avoided at all costs. Ensure they never try this again. The Scions are already deep in the Vex network, and it looks like they have Imperial backup. You can catch them if you hustle. Lucky for you, Amanda Holiday runs a door-to-door -door service. I've dropped you close to the entry point. And, lucky for me, she also has a sense of humor. Which is... refreshing after working with Saladin. That's a pretty low bar to clear, but I'll take the compliment. You're on the right track. Keep drilling down. You'll hit gold soon enough. We're picking up big energy spikes below your feet. Odds are good, but that's where their commander is. Time to show the big boss what you got. You know how to get their attention. Osiris said this isn't the first time the Scions have tried to mingle with the Vex. Were you around for that holiday? I was in the tower at the time, but I wasn't really involved, so I don't know much. Glint's been combing through the Vanguard archives, helping me catch up on the history. I'll ask him to skip ahead. Good idea. Just the thought of clairvoyance combined with prediction engines? Ooh, it's making me sweat. I'm with you. Even if we can't see the future, knowing the past might help us stay on top of this. How did it go? 
Well, the Cabal are just thrilled we've been interfering in their politics. That said, a lot of them are just as unhappy Keitel tried to fold us into the Empire. Interesting. Another crack in the shield. Aren't you worried about retaliation? The data we've pulled from that prediction engine. We need to act now. That data represents possibility, not fate. We need to know more. Good, you're here. The Scions you broke up on Nessus are plotting something. Help Crow investigate this further. Wait. You aren't going to tell the Commander? This concerns him. He deserves to know. My hope is there won't be anything to tell. Not if you and the Guardian see this through. Don't know about you, but I'll take that as a compliment. Nessus, Europa, the Cosmodrome. Every time the Cabal return to the battlegrounds, so shall we. Osiris has sent Crow undercover to investigate their plans for the Vex prediction engines. We need you back on the front lines. The more you can draw their fire, the easier it'll be for Crow to slip under the radar. And while you're out there, be sure to claim whatever you find in the aftermath. Weapons, gold... Without their home system, they can't resupply. And without supplies, they can't resist for long. Listen. I've been combing through the prediction you pulled from Nessus. I've got bad news. I think the Cabal are going to try to take Zavala out. He's missing from every single one of the futures they predicted. Not missing... Where'd he go, missing? Dead, missing. Osiris says there are only possibilities, but I think it's the real deal. Zavala has refused to work with Keitel. It's in her best interest to remove him. Sends a strong message. Glint can't pinpoint a time and place yet. We need more information. Word is, the Vex have always had trouble predicting you. Maybe that's our edge. What do you say? Want to help prevent a prophecy? Thanks to your field work, I have an idea of what the Scions are planning. It's not good. This gadget you found. It's a tiny light disruptor. Small, but strong enough to knock down a ghost. Saladin says when the Cabal seeds the city, they severed our connection to the light. Looks like the Scions have refined that tech. It's... elegant, actually. And deadly. They wouldn't need to fly a fleet into the city to use this. A single gunman would be enough if they could catch a Guardian flat-footed. I'll tell Osiris, and I'll keep an eye on the Commander. You know, just to be safe. Sometimes I like to listen to the city's pulse. I hear it best when the people are asleep and when I'm alone. It was a warm night and I wanted to feel the breeze on my face. I took a walk through the first garden we planted inside these walls to remind myself how far we've come. We've made so many sacrifices since those early days. But with the green of that garden and the murmur of the city we built up around it, I could be at peace. For a little while. Have you ever felt someone's eyes watching you, Guardian? You might not believe it, but I knew he was there before I saw him. I turned, and there he was. Aldrin Sov. His spirit 
haunting me. Then he shouted a warning, and something snapped in the trees behind me. I spun around, my gun in hand, before I realized I'd drawn it. It all happened so fast. A cabal assassin, one of Keitel's, no doubt. When I looked back for Prince Eldrin, he was gone. Was it a troubled spirit? A hallucination? I wasn't sleeping well before. Now I'm not sure I will at all. There was an assassin within the walls of the last city, and no one knew until it was almost too late. Luck was on our side. Next time, it won't be. What we must do now is channel our light into a clean, burning fury and raise the Cabal Empire to ashes. Zavala may still have hope for a peaceful resolution, but he hasn't seen what I have. I'm still an Iron Lord. I'll be in the fray exacting retribution. When you're ready, you should be too. You were seen. At that distance, in the dark? No. Enough to put a name to a dead man's face. The commander told Ikora. Thankfully, he passed you off as a hallucination. An assassin was inside our walls. I had to do something. This isn't the first time an enemy has infiltrated the city. And it won't be the last. Your concern is noted, but far from a crisis. An attempted assassination isn't a crisis? Zavala is quite capable of dispatching a lone scion. He was distracted, soon to be lightless. If I wasn't unmasked, didn't the spider teach you that even small mistakes bring large consequences? I suppose you learned that chasing Zivu Arath. Choose your next words wisely. I should have kept my mask on, but I don't regret acting. I still think Zavala's in danger. That is why I'm embedding you as his bodyguard. Is that wise? We need to draw in their assassins, and a full security outfit is too obvious. Keep your mask on, always. Do not speak. Can I trust you to handle this with discretion? The utmost. My mask was in my hand. Stupid, I know, but I felt... Safe. I thought I could just relax for a minute. It was a mistake. Osiris tells me the commander always talks about making the hard choice. Reveal myself, or let him die. Whatever I chose, someone would still say I was wrong. I'm sure you've lost people. Racked your mind for how it could have been different. Too far away to act, but close enough to wonder. If you could have stopped it, wouldn't you? No matter the cost. I've been at the mercy of something I couldn't stop without knowing why. Blind in a nightmare. I didn't want to be the reason for more pain. 
The next time they come for the commander, they'll have to get through me. Mask or no mask. Just... Don't tell Osiris I said that. The Cabal have no shame. They failed to take out our leadership, and now they escalate their barbarism on the battleground. Believe me, I wish it were not this way, but I've seen this pattern play out many times before. Like the warlords of our darker days, Keitel and her commanders see honor as currency, valuable only for the fear it strikes in their enemies' hearts. There's no merit in it, no trust, and there's no negotiating with brutes like that. Meet them on the battlefield and prove again and again where the real honor lies. After everything the Cabal have done to us, after Gaul, we are warriors. Why aren't we at war? This is not an easy decision. You know that. Not easy, but inevitable. Neither side can sustain a real war, but the Cabal are aggressive and proud. If we do not end this, it will escalate beyond our control. The city is at risk. So strike now. Take out their leader. United, we can handle the rest in a matter of weeks. You don't think that lowers us to the enemy's level? Whether it does or not, I doubt Keitel will go down so easily. But perhaps there is wisdom in thinking like the Cabal. Keitel has rallied support by embracing all traditions. If Zavala challenges her to ceremonial combat, she must accept or risk losing that support. Humanity's champion versus the Cabal's. The winner dictates the future. If we win, there's no guarantee Keitel's followers will honor the result, even if the Empress herself does. And if we lose this gamble, when Keitel has a knife to your throat, will she thank you for your diplomacy? Every fight is a gamble. The question is whether you're willing to bet on our best guardians. Any day of the week. Make your preparations. I'll reach out to Keitel to discuss terms. Commander. I appreciate your cooperation. At last, we have a plan to strike at the heart of the Cabal. It's not what I'd do, but at least we're taking decisive action. Zavala has challenged Keitel to settle things with a final right of proving. No response yet, but Osiris is confident she'll accept. Personally, I don't think there's any course of action more final than a full-scale offensive. Your task is to encourage Keitel to accept the easy out. Her aspiring commanders are the pressure points, so hit them with everything you've got. And keep hitting them until Commander Zavala tells you otherwise. I issued a challenge to Keitel, knowing she could not show weakness in front of her people. She accepted them. And now the time has come. It's simple. A final right of proving. We each send forth a warrior to represent us. Whichever side claims victory sets the terms of a binding agreement. If we win, Keitel ceases hostilities immediately. Her forces never set foot on Earth again. But if we lose, we surrender Nessus and support her claim to the Imperial Throne. And as a gesture of good faith, I become Bracchus Zavala and serve on her war council, a glorified hostage. That cannot happen. Keitel's chosen warrior waits deep within her fortified tank, storming it and defeating him in ritual combat will be nearly impossible. But I've come to expect the impossible from you. 
Guardian. Represent the Vanguard in the right of proving. Be our champion. Commander Zavala, we agree to the right of proving. The Cabal sends forth its champion. The challenge is met. Our blood flows together. May it lead to unity. You willingly enter my Imperial land tank, the Halfus Electus. You honor me. May you meet a glorious death. This tank is like a living thing. She breathes, she moves, and she will spit out your bones. All feel fear, Commander. Some learn from it, while others are ruled by it. Which are you? I refused to bend the knee. What does that tell you? How many more Cabal stand between my champion and yours? All swore their lives to their Empress. They can use them as they wish. Your guardians scurry through my tank like vermin. Is this how the Vanguard fights its wars? Our fight is with your champion. We need not slaughter every Cabal in your army. Do not expect gratitude. Those you leave behind will grow. They will learn. Good. If our foes are capable of growth, let us be the catalyst that forces them to change. You would attack my tank directly? It is sacred to my men. They will fight as though its oil were blood. My warriors do not die easily. They fight because I gave them their freedom. Imagine if they fought because you gave them a hope. My champions are ready, Keitel. Is yours? Arise, my chosen! Fight for the glory of the Cabal! Your champion falls. I did not imagine this outcome. Your guardians have powers told of in the old stories. Our vaults are full of relics from those who underestimated us. If you ever cross the vanguard again, bring a bigger tank. Let our blood be the last spilled. Let this ground be hallowed. Let honor bind us. I didn't order this. Bring me the one who pulled the trigger. They'll know who did. Are you all right? Alive. I've officially been commissioned as a recon agent by Commander Zavala. He wants me to track down the conspirators who tried to sabotage the ceasefire. I believe Keitel when she says she wasn't behind it, but 
let's not take chances. Two assassination attempts is more than enough, I think. Zavala looks at me, and I feel like he really sees me. Who I am, not who I was. He didn't say much else, just that it might be a good idea if I laid low while he figured things out here. I know it's taboo to talk about the people we were before, but the weight that's been hanging around my neck since I woke up in this body, it finally feels a little lighter. I doubt this is the last time we'll be seeing each other, Guardian. Aldrin Sarv is dead. Ikora spoke those words when I offered her the news of Crow's unmasking. She already knew, of course, as did Osiris. And you. Without trust, we become like the Cabal. Fractured and consumed from within. I've sent your friend on a reconnaissance mission while I determine the best way forward. Empress Keitel will honor our agreement. This is an armistice, not an allegiance. Those who do not answer her call to leave Earth are criminals in the eyes of her empire, left to us to deal with as we see fit. Saladin will have words, I'm sure. But preserving what's left of the Cabal insulates us from further incursions by Zivuareth. The enemy of my enemy, Guardian. Until such time, they are not. Warriors of the Empire. Today we chose strength and honor over personal glory. But two of our soldiers chose to pursue their own victory, their own glory before the glory of the Empire. Only one of these soldiers stands before me now. The Scion Valir faced his death with honor, but his accomplice, the Scion Kalik, chose to run, to hide. Kalek is a stain on our history. A traitor. I revoke the name Kalek. For a coward has no name under the Empire. These traitors did not work alone. I will find the others, and they will meet this same fate. We are one cabal, and we strike as one fist. Distress signals are far too common these days. Our recovery crews can hardly keep up with them. This one, however, I want you to look into personally. Rahul brought it to my attention. He tells me the transmission has been exposed to darkness. Our enemy worms its way into everything it touches, even muddying our signals. What's more is the port of origin, near the reef, from a Guardian claiming to be aboard a ship belonging to the dethroned Emperor Callus. Keitel will no doubt respond to a signal from one of her father's ships. They have a complicated relationship. If there's a Guardian on board, exposed to darkness, I want to know why. Extract them safely, so we may have a word with them. Several months ago, a Cabal vessel bearing the name Glycon disappeared near the reef. This ship matches its description and heading. So far, our hails have gone unanswered, and the distress signal continues to loop. You're clear for live fire engagements. Board it, and find our missing guardian. There's a distortion in the feed, no frequencies. Like ripples meeting in conversation. Executing trace. Stand by. I've sourced a distortion. There's an open patch into the ship's computer. Perhaps courtesy of our lost friend. Those spores are harmonizing with the nearby concentration of darkness. The 
There's no light here. Sarcophilus growths with cores of darkness. The material is organic. It reminds me of a certain flora kept by our silver-tongued drifter. Curious. The Cabal here. Their minds hang suspended in the death rows of cognition, falling into a singularity. The Glycon navigation system marks their destination as an anomaly left in the wake of Mars's disappearance. Guardian, you're not the only life sign aboard. I see at least one other. It may be our missing friend. It may not. Scorn. They did not come from Callus's menagerie. The dark ether in this device has been tampered with. Its connection to the darkness galvanized, rooted. Callus always did embody a clever sort of madness. I found a journal of Callus's scribe, Armsart. Translation as follows. Today, Callus graced the Glycon with his presence and gazed upon the anomaly. His counselors prepare the exhibition chamber with gold from the Castellum. They are confident the crown is ready. The end will lay eyes upon him and weep at his magnificence. This ship's passageways no longer connect as they should. Oh, the dark. They relent. We must not. Forward. Guardian, I've pieced together another of Armsart's records. It reads, Tragedy of silence. He tore the wilting failures apart himself. The connection is strong, but the darkness does not speak through them. An ocean without wind. Even the light bearer could not coax it to awaken. Hangar systems are intact. Why didn't they try to run? Jump logs indicate this ship made berths from the Leviathan. Its pilot has an officer's clearance. A guardian appears to have a long and storied history with the Emperor. Bring back the tail, guardian. Wine? No. Concentrated dark ether. These are similar to Galron's chamber in the royal baths, but without life support systems. Micro etchings along the interior walls. Scratches. Armsart kept notes on experiments as well. It seems that Scorn, exposed to the anomaly, all suffered contiguous neuron death. It consumed their minds. All but one who spoke with many dead voices. This survivor would become the centerpiece of their studies. You see that like this isn't your fault. You can't blame yourself for every missing guardian, Osiris. Put this decrepit creature to rest. Guardian, this anomaly left in Mars's wake. I've seen it and others like it. Too many scorn for an active guardian. In place of each world, the darkness stole. At the edge of our heliopause. Callus meant to commune with the darkness. This is an address from Callus to his crew. I chose Galran, and his frailty betrayed us. He was too pure, too alone. Our new guests are neither. A glorious chain of dark minds, an open mouth for the one in the darkness, that it may sing in exaltation of my majesty. Greatness recognizes greatness. To invoke the attention of the end, our offer must be great. Faint traces of light. That thing was a guardian. We're too late. Far too late. Take the rifle. It was offered, was it not? Better in your hands than left for another. I'll speak to Savala about authorizing exploratory outings. If we can recover our lost friend's ghost, we may learn more of how he died. It 
return to the city. We must assess our findings. Exploratory outing. Presage. Designation VG-999. I am receiving you. Not finished picking at Cabal Bones? Keitel. Have you no more officers to send in your place? You're trespassing, and I need information on that ship. Withdrawal. This is a rescue operation for a wayward ghost. Interference here would not end well for you. Rescue? The Cabal are not animals. Send in your guardian, but Callus belongs to me. As long as I see him dragged from this hole, I don't care who does it. Then keep your distance and leave us be. I've lived aboard these ships. I know their systems. You need me. We shall see. What will you do with Callus if he is found? Autocrats only know obsession. His gluttony exposed us. So I'll feed him all the trimmings of his failure. Until his belly bursts. Scans of the anomaly they chased. Left in Mars's wake. It's a part of the darkness. One piece of a larger web. Others align with our missing planets and moons, as well as many points beyond Sol's borders. Callus's scribe identifies a voice in the darkness. One of their mother. Of dead enemies. Of ghoul. They say it spoke to Callus in his own voice. Taught him how to commune. His counselors work to isolate and contact the entity that speaks. How many Cabal died for this? Enough, it would seem, to achieve the Emperor's desired result. Emperor, this derelict is his empire. Sacrificed to pride. Paid for in blood. Are those Elixni? At one time. The ether was bound with darkness. Now there's scorn. Rot-minded and easily swayed to violence. The perfect vessel. If one could keep them contained. A Scorpius turret. Its munitions are spent. The battle report shows skirmishes across the ship, battling several containment breaches. Still, Callus pressed on. This infestation. I've seen it before. The Zebu Arath slaughtered my people. What was it like, that inevitability? Like burning alive, and realizing the flames are just the beginning. Gasps of scorching air. Helpless panic. The smell. Was it any different when Gaul raised the city? Survivors like us are embers in the dark. Delicate. Defiant. Osiris sends you through a trash compactor. If you were Cabal, I would lift you into the stars. You have never sounded more like your father. I thought you killed that. The Cabal have suffered too many losses for vanity. Petulance. First Callus, then Gaul. But not you. Don't insult me. I've grown wise from watching monuments topple. No mercy for false gods. Half these ships ran routes to the Tangled Shore. Where they harvested the scorn for their experiments. This hangar took in ships from all over Seoul. The Leviathan could be lurking at any of those coordinates. You're my favorite. Shh. Don't tell anyone. Your missing guardian was working with my father. So it would appear. If his ghost were recovered, would its memories be... accessible? That remains to be seen. A refuse heap. Darkness, soot, ether. They were burning the spent scorn to ash. Cabal regalia tracks combat data. I can access this. An incendiata, deployed to halt the Scorn reanimation. The incendiata was later embedded with a team, set to detonate the ship's reactor. They rose on their own? That is a new and concerning development. 
Resurrection does not make one invulnerable. Your kind taught us that. These orders did not come from Callus. Callus's surgeons experimented on the scorn. Cranial dissections. Dark ether drownings to engorge them. Science carved telepathic imprints into their brains. Linked them together in shared consciousness. Their collective mind was then opened through an artifact. A crown of possession. All to exploit their connection to the darkness. Had Callus seen Torobottle fall, as I did, would he have learned then? No. You burned away. I saw it. What do you hear, Empress? Mistakes. Thrown on the pyre of my past. You... heard something different? The ignorance of my youth. The pain of change. Unproven faith wilted by logic. Your people do not appreciate you as I do. I promise you true power. Here you shall find me. A ghost was injured here. The remnants of its light pooled around the dark center. A memory preserved in physical form. Promised. Everything you say is a lie. I believe I found a record of first contact with this voice. It says, I, Amsat, scribe of Glycon, rejoice. The scorn are one, rejoice. They bear the weight of the crown elegantly, rejoice. They whisper anticipation. Rejoice. Our Emperor hears the voice of salvation. Rejoice. Sycophants. All of them. Enabling his madness. What is that thing? Our lost guardian. Can your ghosts undo that? Not so far as I'm aware. Then why are you searching for it? Answers? Same as you, Empress. If there is nothing else, I must analyze the Glycon's archives. My cruiser will monitor the situation here. A path to the ghosts still eludes us. Until we return then. A chalice of opulence. The inscription reads, To my captain, cast your shadow in the face of darkness, that you might drink of its beauty and grow fat. Your guardian was a traitor then, seduced by Callus's posturing. Like so many powerful fools who think themselves invincible. I'm receiving you, guardian. The Vanguard saw value in our investigation. We are tasked with the recovery of any information or relics pertaining to the darkness. Welcome back to the Glycon, guardians. I expected you to be gone after the armistice. This ship is Cabal. I have a duty to its crew while Callus remains free. What have you found in our absence? Hidden records in Glycon's mainframe. From your lost guardian. They're decrypting as we speak. Transmitting the first decrypted message. He's been drinking more and more of that royal slop. I see him pawing at the ear for hours, laughing. Eyes glazed over. There's another alignment tomorrow. Maybe I can slip the hangar and get lost before anyone notices. I know a few Guardians who might want to hear what I've seen. Did your data mining yield anything about a crown? Amsat detailed an ornate procession that brought a hive crown from Leviathan to Glycon. It allowed the darkness to invade the Scorn's thoughts. Not the darkness. The Entity. The two are entwined. Does the difference matter? That there is a difference makes our understanding of the darkness a facade. What do you presume they are? The crown, the entity? Idols. Sustained by fixation until there is nothing left to reap. Our lost guardian must have sent this frame to broadcast their distress signal. This interface is of human design. 
It recounts a descent into the anomaly. Gravitational oscillations broke and reformed the glycon many times over. It is as if every permutation of the ship's existence collided in one space. Keitel, it seems Callus has fled. Amsat states, Emperor Callus has left us, his shadow broods. The legionaries spread rumors saying, he merged with darkness, he is dead, he fights to save us. Words dipped in false confidence. The Emperor is gone. None know where. May we abide his return. No. It is a trick. He is hiding here or elsewhere. He did not simply vanish. This array contains research logs. The Entity's voice emanates from the grave of Mars. The scorn babble to the void and attentively await response. Our Emperor's vision is at hand. Tomorrow we pierce the Anomaly's veil. We are ready. We have communed and are adrift between worlds. It controls the lower decks, dragging the flame. Dead whispers in the walls. There is no way back. Scribe Omsad states, the Emperor shows us we chase a mirage. The darkness is nothing but a great basin of formless thoughts. A vast tangle of composting chaos. Kala seeks the entity who speaks through the darkness. The darkness is a primal force, wielded like the light. How simple. Able to be brandished against Zivu Arath? And fall into the burrow of an ambush predator. Like Umun, like Aramis, I think not. But tools can be broken, forces can be stopped, and those who wield them can be disarmed. Another decrypted entry. We hit Acheron's wall and sank. Straight down to the deep. Gly is in a bad way after the die of Hull Twisted. I'm Hull Twisted. Whole crew rattling around in my skull like they're thinking for me. <sighs> Scorn. What they used to be, what they are now. <laughs> Dive must have opened the cells. Someone's gotta clip their horns, especially the big one. Or we're dead. So, this is where they died. Their sacrifice is noted. Their names will be honored. Why were they sent? Accessing the Glycon's mainframe required a direct connection. Another entry transmitting. I didn't think it was true. All I talk about the darkness. But it saw him. Something in here. Staring. Right back into Callus's hungry eyes. Then Aldrin's rotted tyke started shrieking and I knew. I knew I shouldn't have come here. What monstrosity is this? The crown of sorrow. A hive artifact of devilish craftsmanship meant to subvert the wearer's will. I suspected it was the crown in question. More hive witchcraft. It should be destroyed. It has been altered from its original design. Opened. Instead of controlling minds, it, it's meant to merge them. It is listening. I cannot leave the crown free. You think you can contain it? So did Callus. How long before your audacity damns the city, advisor? Your warning is noted, Empress. But this is Vanguard space. Will you ensure the crown is undisturbed while I make preparations for its recovery? The Cabal are not at your disposal. Do so at your own peril. 